A cold front moves our way tomorrow, and we're going to have a line of strong storms pushing across the area, and so we've declared it a weather alert day. Here is a look. So the timing is going to be from about 9 o'clock in the evening until 3 o'clock in the morning, but we're still going to have some storms in the afternoon. They concern me as well. Damaging winds and storms, isolated tornadoes. So get ready. It could be a rough night. Here is a look at what's happening. High pressure off to the east. We've got that onshore flow. And let me tell you, a whole lot of moisture moving our way. Low pressure to the west and an upper low to the west. It's going to come together and give us the ingredients to get these strong storms. Not much out there right now. We've had some rain over by Mobile Bay. But tomorrow, right now, it is a level one and level two on a scale of five to get some strong to severe storms the concern damaging winds and storms and that isolated tornado plus a low risk that we could have locally heavy rain and today we had some rain in the morning 1300s over at Slidell as you go into tomorrow look at how it's not really adding up during the day but there is a stripe over the northern portion of the north shore and I am seeing that risk for strong storms in the afternoon. And then we add up to a good one to two inches of rain. So here is a look at the timeline. Overnight, we've got fog, a dense fog advisory temperatures in the 60s. We go through the day, it's looking pretty good. 3.30 in the afternoon, look at those storms on the north shore. They move to the northeast, and at times it looks like very heavy rain, possibly some rotation. That storm is pushing into South Mississippi. Here comes the squall line, and we're looking at notches. In those notches, the risk that you could have a tornado. We're also seeing at times bow echoes that indicate strong gusty winds. Also locally heavy rain. This is 1130, close to I-59, extending through the city and then to the south shore. Of course, we are going to be here. We will be on the air should a tornado warning be issued. And then at 12 midnight, look, that's a bow echo moving across the Mississippi Sound and over the lower portion of Plaquemines and St. Bernard. Another big bow echo, one o'clock in the morning along the Mississippi coast offshore and down by Grand Isle. This line of rain moves to the east and then it moves out and the weather begins to improve for your Thursday, but that's not the only cold front we're watching. Here's meteorologist Devin Lucy with the big chill. That's it, Margaret. So there's a second system on the heels of that, as you just said. So as we go about three miles in the air, that system exits, the second one comes in, and that's going to drive in some much cold wear, but it's going to be the interaction with that system that's going to have the front here at ground level to where we are to still develop the potential for more rain even after it passes. The one thing that's for certain is that colder air is going to eventually be dropped in behind that secondary front. So the first front bringing your storms, Margaret, the second front truly bringing the colder air. But as for rain chances, we're starting to see indications that it could pick up more into Friday now with kind of a colder variety rain. Still looking at moderate moderate showers, maybe even an elevated thunderstorm, and we may not be done until we get to Friday afternoon and Friday evening, so we may have to hold on to those rain chances a little while longer after the main event. Not expecting these to be severe, but just expecting it to rain and with the cold filtering in, you know that's quite a chill that sets in. And some of the latest information coming into Saturday even has some changes there, but we don't have enough time for that, so maybe we cover that tomorrow. But first, let's get through tonight, Margaret. Oh, I know it. And tonight we're dealing with fog. We do have that dense fog advisory that's in effect. And at times we're going to have visibility, as you can see, a half a mile in Slidell, a mile and a half at this point at the lakefront. Then we look at what's happening. There is a look at our temperatures, mid to the upper 60s, a very light wind. And because of that, that dense fog, as you go into the morning hours for the North Shore and along the coast. So tomorrow we have a weather alert. Some strong storms in the afternoon, but mainly tomorrow night. It moves through. The weather improves Thursday. But as you heard Devin mention, we're going to have rain again Friday morning, then turning much colder for the weekend.